Hi folks and welcome back. I'm up in Snowdonia in North Wales and I'm heading up into the mountains, up into the Carnathai for a wild camp. I'm heading up to a lake that I've been meaning to get to for a long, long time and I'm hoping that today is the day. <laughs> I've just stuck behind this dry stone wall here because it's really windy, um, quite gusty and uh, no doubt there's, a, there's quite a lot of wind noise on the, uh, on the microphone so I thought I'd just duck out of the wind so that you can, you can hear me talk. Yeah, it's a nice day though. Um, quite changeable, you know, one minute nice blue skies, the next hail and sleet. So we've got a, a bit of everything today. I'm heading up towards Dillon Reservoir, where I'm going to hook off left up a spur and try and gain some, some height. The lake I want to camp by is, is high, it's the highest lake in Wales, just below Flewellyn, which you could probably just about see, covered in snow there. So I've got to get up to it. If I don't take this spur, I'm going to end up having to scramble up cliffs and, <laughs> and very steep, steep slopes. So going up the spur should um, be a bit, uh, a bit less steep and easier just to get that height. I've just stopped in the lee of this boulder here just to get out of the wind for a bit <coughs> and um and have some lunch it's uh, it's one o'clock and I'm, I'm pretty hungry i only had beans and sausages for <laughs> for breakfast so um yeah could do with refueling before before carrying on i'm just gonna have some noodles um and some fish which i'll just mix through and i'm gonna just do it on my on my jet boil they're really noisy these things i don't <laughs> i don't really like them very much but they are quick and they're so they're so handy when you're up in the mountains, you know, they're just a self-contained water heating system. So ideal for this sort of thing, especially if you're taking, you know, lightweight or dehydrated um, meals and stuff with you. So that's what I'm gonna do. Have a bit of scran and then press on upwards. Ooh, curry fish. <laughs> Should get my spoon out really. I'm gonna need it anyway. <laughs>
Well, I got to my camp spot and it was some doing getting up here, I can tell you. It was a proper slog. <laughs> this boy from the, from the flatlands isn't used to these big hills. But um, I've got here and it's, and it's a fantastic little area, fantastic spot. Um, it's very windy. Um, the, uh, the wind is gusting around. The, the wind is actually coming from behind the mountains. I think what happens is the mountain just creates a great big eddy and the, and the air gets sort of pulled down, hooked down and then it just blows around in all different directions. So it's not even coming from one, one direction, you know, it's coming from <laughs> the left one minute and then from the right and just it's quite sort of squally and, and violent. The tent is uh, flapping around all over the place. There's a job to put it up. <coughs> it's just, uh, yeah, just wanted to be pulled out of my hands as I was trying to peg it out. <laughs> but um, it's there, it's done and that'll be, that'll be a good shelter for me, for me tonight, keep out that wind. I think the, um, the sun has probably set but it's a job to tell because it's because it's cloudy. But um, I just feel like you know the light is is diminishing a bit. So I shall go and get myself um, into the tent shortly and um, get things organised and start thinking about getting stuff ready for for dinner. Um, this lake up here is the the highest lake in Wales. It's 830 metres uh, above sea level, um, and it's called. I'm going to try and get this right. Clin. Cliffend, <laughs> excuse my pronunciation, which means Frog Lake. Um, why it's called Frog Lake, I have no idea. A lot of these um, these hills and lakes have have names that go back to, you know, to folklore. So it could be <coughs> could be any reason why it's called Frog Lake. I don't suppose it's because there's frogs in it. <laughs> I doubt there's anything in it to be honest. I'm pretty sure there's no fish in it. That's for sure. The other thing this lake is well known for, apart from being the highest lake in Wales, is that it's the site of an aircraft crash. In 1957, an English electric Canberra, which was a big jet-powered high-altitude bomber, um, struck the ridge um, above, above me here. It um, disintegrated on impact and the debris was just littered all over the mountainside and across this lake in, the, in this, this kind of dip here where I am. I don't know what all the pieces are. It looks like there's an engine and um, some other pieces that look like they were perhaps part of, part of a wing um, and there's a wheel, part of the undercarriage. Um, that I found and then loads of smaller fragments and, and hoses and bits of aluminium. Neither of the two crew survived, they were both killed on impact and there's a lot of uncertainty about why the plane crashed in the first place. It was obviously flying too low because it hit the mountain, so pilot error possibly, but there's also a feeling that um, it could have been engine failure due to, due to icing, but nobody, nobody knows, you know, the plane hit that ridge and was, um, you know, smashed into a thousand pieces which just rained down all over the mountainside so i don't suppose anybody will ever know but yeah it's very poignant seeing all these fragments of aircraft littered about the place Is <laughs> noisy in here with the wind and the tent is flapping around when those gusts come but it's at least out of the wind and it's considerably warmer my hands got got very cold just then just even just opening the zip and closing it up again yeah it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a noisy night I think <laughs> So this is dinner. I've got a chicken mac dehydrated meal. Looking forward to that. It's a nice big portion. It's the usual deal. You add um, water, boiling water, two cups. I've already written on there what that is in millilitres because my cup is in millilitres. Um, and then, uh, yeah, put it in my cozy for 12 to 15 minutes. And then it's ready to go. So I'm going to get that on now. I'm pretty hungry. 
and that should do the job nicely. my hot chocolate which was lovely I really enjoyed it just the job to, to finish off my dinner and um, I think I'm gonna crawl into my sleeping bag I'm cold my hands are cold my feet are cold my body's all right <coughs> but I just haven't been able to warm up my hands and hands and feet since I since I stopped and, and set everything up so I think the sleeping bag is is the place to be I'm a little bit concerned about the tent these winds are crazy um, and the tent is just shaking and billowing in and oh yeah I don't know I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll <laughs> stand up to it it's a good tent but um, you know all tents have their limit I think the gusts are about 55 miles an hour up on the mountain um, on the on the top of the mountain so it's obviously not going to be as strong down here um, but uh, yeah it's strong enough and I think it's supposed to get stronger overnight and then calm down in the morning so we'll just have to see I'm sure it's going to wake me up all through the night, which is another reason I want to get to bed early. I'm going to have a disturbed night's sleep, you know, for sure. But um, if I can get to bed early, then um, at least, um, you know, I might be able to make up for some of that lost sleep in the short bits of sleep I'm able to have, if that makes sense. Hopefully, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night. The main tent pole has just has just snapped. I heard a I heard a sort of ping, and um, yeah, the end the end uh, section of pole has just sheared. Uh, so I've had to kind of dig what's left of the pole into the ground and retension it with the guy line, 
and um, fold the broken bit kind of under my pack and, and just the bulk of my pack is holding down the kind of the flappy bit of, <laughs> of tent fabric because obviously the more it flaps the more damage it's probably going to do this wind is so strong now it's, it's about two o'clock in the morning and uh, these gusts have picked up even more oh it's a bit of a nightmare <laughs> oh it's really cold outside the tent or outside my sleeping bag anyway hopefully hopefully that'll be it that'll be the only drama I'll try and get some more sleep is well needed this morning what a night and it's still blowing an absolute hooli out there my tent broke in the night that was a nightmare I had to fix that I had to get up and out of the tent and fix it, it got really cold and um, yeah just haven't slept well waking up every I don't know I have I have slept for, for chunks but then the wind will pick up and the tent will shake and that will wake me up because I'm worried you know the fly sheet's going to come unpegged to something that's just going to fly off <laughs> and I'm going to be left here with the inner tent. Uh, and then it's been snowing all morning. And it's just blowing into the tent. So it's blowing underneath the, the fly sheet and, cover, and covering everything. I, I had to dig for my stove and my rucksack and everything this morning. It was just, um, the snow had just covered it. It just drifted up and, 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 uh, and covered it. <laughs> and everything is now soaking wet, of course, because the... The snow is, is, is melting in the inner tent as well. You know, I'm in and out. Just made a cup of coffee, so I brought snow in. That's now melted and everything is sopping. Yeah, not, not overly comfortable, I wouldn't say. I've, I've had, you know, more comfortable mornings for sure. I'm gonna have this cup of coffee. I'm gonna quickly get some breakfast into me. I've just got porridge, oatmeal um, in a, in a mylar bag so I'll just make that up get some fuel into me and then I'm going to start getting all this stuff packed down most of my stuff packed away my sleeping bag and all that sort of stuff is all packed away in the main compartment of my rucksack and I've just got the stuff that goes in the the outside pockets and the tent I'll leave that up till till last so I've still got a bit of shelter and I'll just stuff that in the um, in the outside pocket so it doesn't make everything else wet and that'll be fine and then I shall make my way I was kind of hoping this blizzard <laughs> might have passed before it was time to, to get going but it looks like it's set in for a bit longer so I'll just have to grip my teeth and get on with it and go down and meet Martin at this other lake yeah it's certainly been a, a blustery old camp yeah not really experienced anything like this or not for a long time anyway yeah pretty pretty extreme and uh, obviously too much for my poor little tent <laughs> I'll have to see about getting that repaired when I get home. 
a bit of hey ho. Yeah. Right, I better get the last bits packed away and get on my way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.